The overall goal of this procedure is to identify aptamers from a random library which specifically bind to a target protein, in this case, S100B protein. This is accomplished by first digesting the library with restriction endonucleases to liberate random sequences from flanking fixed primer sequences. The second step of the procedure is to bind the random library sequences to purified S100B protein and recover them. The third step of the procedure is to reunite bound sequences with fixed primer sequences by hybridization and ligation. The final step of the procedure is to transcribe the ligated products to allow RT-PCR reamplification of the bound pool of candidate aptamers, followed by additional rounds of this selection procedure. Ultimately, results can be obtained that show specific binding of selected aptamers to the S100B protein. For example, here sandwich binding assays are performed using microarrays and fluorescently labeled second aptamers. Assays are also performed using functionalized nanowires and second aptamers coupled to 50 nanometer gold nanoparticles. Today, we will show you a procedure for selecting aptamers which bind to S100B protein from a random library of DNA sequences. We use this procedure in our laboratory for a variety of purposes, including developing a sensor platform for the early detection of cancer. So, let's get started. To begin this procedure, generate a primer-free, or PF, DNA library as previously described. Cleavage of the double-stranded DNA library followed by gel purification with a 10% denaturing polyacrylamide gel will result in a 32 nucleotide fragment of 5'-phosphate N30cc and a 30 nucleotide fragment of 5'-phosphate N30.